here with another video of making another resin artwork. Since we are all stuck at home and have plenty of time now, one of the things that you can do is to create art. But before I jump into the making, I simply want to say thank you. Saya sangat menghargai setiap feedback dari kalian about all the previous videos that I made and I really, really am so grateful to be surrounded by people who are very, very supportive. Okay, first sitting to the content, sebenarnya salah satu alasan why am I making this artwork video again, specifically about resin again, it is because a lot of you requested it and curious also about how to color it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to color your resin, particularly on creating a marble effect. So I bought all the materials from an online local store, but to be helpful, I'm going to put the links in the description box so that you can find the exact same materials that I'm using here in this video. Alright, with that being said, let's take a look at the process, shall we? First of all, kita harus tutupin bagian belakang wooden coasters ini pakai lakban. As you can see, I have already prepared six plastic containers with random colors and shapes that I intentionally put upside down in order for the resin to drip off later on. Kalau sudah pakai sarung tangan, sekarang bisa langsung tuang the resin into a medium-sized plastic container. Kemudian give just a few drops of the catalyst. I'm using only three colors, but at the end of this video, you will notice there are kayak ada warna abu and then mint yang agak gelap. And that is because they got mixed, jadi warnanya tercampur selama proses pembuatan. I also intentionally leave two of these plastic containers with no color at all. And that's because I believe that I will know and I will decide later what color I should add more into the resin right away after the very first pour. I'm currently using a resin tin here, but you can definitely use acrylic paint as well. They do pretty well. Just be sure to follow the 1 to 10 ratio rule. So if you mix one part of acrylic paint, you need to add 10 parts of resin. However, do not, do not ever, ever, ever use oil paint because it does not mix well with the resin. It gets all stringy and weird and you definitely don't want that. Here I also add a little bit of glitters to give a little bit of sparkle. Now I'm putting all the resin back into the first plastic container and then I'm gonna pour them all together and spread them thoroughly. Kalau sudah semua tersebar sampai rata, I feel like I should add another more white color. It's just my preference. If you want to create a darker marbled effect, you can go ahead and add black or gray instead. But as for me, I want more white. Kalau sudah, tinggal dipindahin ke atas the six plastic containers that I have already mentioned at the beginning. So it'll allow the resin to drip off and now you just have to wait for 24 hours. That is exactly what you think, right? But the good news is, I ended up creating cute little tiny buttons and necklaces as well from the leftovers we have here.
result. You can create a lot of things out of resin. This video is just one example. You can create haircuts, phone cases, earrings, even tables. Yeah, even tables. Well, if you are a furniture designer, you might already know this, but be creative. Enable those alternative ways of thinking. But what if I fail? That's actually a really, really good question. Well, as much as it hurts, failure is an important part of our lives. Seriously though, the very first time I tried to create a resin artwork, it didn't turn out that great. But you know what? Just shake it off, embrace the lessons, and move on. I moved on. <laughs> Alright, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you learned something throughout this video, and I cannot wait to talk to you again in the next one. I'll see you guys soon.